This holiday season, it's important to look out for our eyes. Surprisingly enough, many people find themselves each year taking care of an eye injury from a pine needle ornament or even a cork. Here today to talk about potential dangers for eyes during the holidays and winter months is Dr. Mary Gina Ratchford, an ophthalmologist at Hartford Hospital. Doctor, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Great to have you. So is it common to see eye injuries around the holidays? Unfortunately, it is, um, and they can come from a variety of sources. Uh, the first thing we often see is from just the tree trimming, cutting down the tree. The branches and pine needles can often be a source of a corneal abrasion uh, that can lead to uh, an eye pain and an infection. So we do uh, caution people when they are trimming their tree to to be careful, uh, to wear some safety glasses if they have them that, to avoid that injury. All right, doctor, what can happen when you get a pine needle or glass in your eye from an ornament? Yeah, so um, again, prevention is the best way to prevent that, but if in the event that you do get a pine needle in the eye, we recommend trying to irrigate it right away with a, you know artificial teardrops or a saline solution that you can get over the counter. Significant pain, however, really should be uh, you should seek medical attention, either going to your emergency room, walk-in clinic, or um, you know getting that checked out by an eye professional. Yes, our eyesight is so precious. So during, absolutely, during the holidays, a lot of families gather around the fire. What do you recommend people should do if smoke or embers get into their eyes? Yeah, again, staying away, making sure that your you know your fireplace is properly maintained. Um, again, those artificial tear drops really are the first line of defense. If you do get some kind of irritant in the eye, they can often avoid you know getting a deeper corneal uh, issue. Um, and again, any pain or irritation uh, that doesn't get better in a 24-hour period should be seen by a, an eye professional. All right. And can you talk about overall eye health during the cold, dry winter months? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, anybody with an underlying dry eye can find some exacerbation during the winter months. You know, the heat is on. The heat is blowing in from the car. We often are doing a lot more indoor activities. So uh, keeping your eyes well lubricated in the winter is one of the first lines of defense. And the other is making sure that you wear proper sunwear. Skiing, you know, even walking to shoveling the snow. There is a lot of that uh, light reflected from the sun that can uh, really cause a lot of uh, injury or um, just irritation to the eyes. So making sure that you have a good pair of sunglasses is also essential. Yes, protect those eyes year-round. Dr. Yeah, Mary absolutely. Gina Ratchford, thank you so much. Great information on uh -huh. eye health and safety. Great. Thank you, and happy holidays to you. Same to you.